I was having lunch the other day with some friends who are all experienced PDF software engineers. And I mean they're all the cleverest guys in the room wherever they go. Anyway, we were discussing a particularly tricky PDF document issue faced by many Mac users. How to perform optical character recognition OCR on Mac to convert scanned documents into editable PDF files. They all had their favorite macOS OCR tools and the discussion got quite heated after a while Thinking back to that discussion, I realized they all spilled some very valuable pro-level tips and tricks that I would like to share with you in today's video. Hi, I'm Veronica and today's video is dedicated to Mac users and helping you find the best OCR software for Mac OS to convert scanned or image-based PDF files into editable text. For the benefit of those who have little to no experience in this area, let's begin with the basics. What is OCR? OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. It's a type of program that examines patterns, contrast and other aspects of an image to try and extract any text that it identifies. What can you do with OCR? Oh, plenty! If you have a bunch of physical documents that you've scanned as PDF files, they will most likely only be viewable, as a scanner is essentially only creating an image and does not recognize the text. You need a dedicated software for the text to be recognized so that it can be edited. If you have documents that need to be digitalized, like invoices or contracts, you can use the OCR features in PDF Element for that purpose. Additionally, you can make your documents searchable, which helps creating digital archives so that you have a quick and easy access to the files you need. So whether you need to process scanned physical invoices, notes, PDF transcripts, or simply convert an image with text to be edited, PDF Element is the right tool for the job. In this video, I will show you how to perform OCR on Mac, Windows, and iOS. Be sure to stay till the end for a bonus method that will blow your mind are you ready? Let's get straight into the step-by-step -step walkthrough starting with how to perform OCR using PDF element for Mac. I'm starting with Mac users because they are restricted to just a few OCR tools compared to Windows users. Such a shame, haha. <laughs> Begin by importing a scanned PDF or a text-based image file into PDF element. You can do this using the open icon on the home page or by creating a PDF from another format such as JPEG or PNG. You will see a prompt on the notification bar informing you that OCR can be performed. However, if you don't receive it, you can go to the Tools section and select OCR Text Recognition to trigger the OCR process. Just a quick little side note here, if it's your first time using the OCR feature, you'll be prompted to download and enable the OCR plugin. Follow the instructions on the PDF element interface. The download speed is up to your network, but it won't be too long in general. The OCR module will now ask you to confirm the settings in a new pop-up window. And here's a pro tip. If you need to perform OCR on multiple files, take advantage of the batch process where you can drag and drop more files to save a ton of time. In the panel on the right, you can choose the language, page range, image down sampling resolution and the type of PDF output, editable text, PDF or searchable PDF. And here's another pro tip, you can choose multiple languages from over 20 options or use the auto detect function when working with multilingual PDF content. Finally, hit the apply button at the bottom of the sidebar panel and wait for the document to be converted. That's it, the new file will now be editable or searchable depending on the option you chose. But now you tell me I don't have a Mac, what do I do if I only have a Windows PC? Well, let me show you. Perform OCR on PDF Element for Windows. Windows users can use PDF Element for Windows. You can find the download link via the pinned comment below. The process is essentially the same as the OCR engine is as good as the PDF element for macOS. The first step is to import the scanned file or create a PDF from an image file containing text. Open a scanned PDF by dropping it on the PDF element interface or you can click the create PDF option on the home page and select an image file. It will open as a PDF image. Now go to Tool and select OCR option from the ribbon toolbar. You can now choose between two conversion options, editable PDF or searchable PDF. 
set the appropriate language, which in this case is English, and set the page range you want to recognize and click the apply button to begin the process. Once the process is finished, the PDF file can now be edited in the edit tab. From here you can select the text to change it so you can also change the font and font color etc. Here's a pro tip, to perform OCR in batches, use the tool tab and select batch process to open a new window, where you'll see the same settings but you can add multiple files to the queue just like this. Select batch PDF, then go to OCR where you can click on add files to select the files that you want to run OCR on. Once you've added the files, you'll be able to select the OCR option, editable text or searchable text and image, as well as choose the output folder for your files and select the language to be recognized. Once you have set your settings, hit apply and you'll be able to see here that your files are being recognized one by one. And here's another pro tip, if you have a scanned PDF form, you can click on the data extraction tab instead of creating another PDF. PDF element will then extract all the form field data and present it to you in a CSV format so you can open it with a spreadsheet program like Excel. To extract the data, go to form, select more where you can click on extract data. From here, select extract data based on selection and hit apply. You can now select the fields that you want extracted and you can also name each field, which will be the header in your Excel spreadsheet. So select the fields that you want analyzed for text and once you have them selected, click apply. Then save your spreadsheet and you can see that all of the data has been extracted. The best part, you can do this action on a batch process if needed, just like this. To do this as a batch process, go into Tool, select Batch Process, and then go into Extract Data. Here you can add more files, and click on Extract Data from Marked PDF. Then click on the plus icon to select the template PDF where you can mark the fields that you want extracted by clicking and dragging a box over the data. Then name your template and click Save and then click apply. So all of the data will then be presented to you in a Excel spreadsheet. But now somebody new pops up and says to me, hey dude, don't be rude, I'm an iPhone lover, so show me how to do this on iOS. Hmm, should I? Okay, let's do it. How to perform OCR on iOS. Actually, there is a new feature, iOS 15 live text for the latest iOS 15.x update. Let's see how it works. Open your camera app, point it at the text and you will notice a button that prompts you to scan it. Press it to be able to select the text and copy and paste it into your notes. Quite easy, right? Besides your iOS update to the latest version, you also need your device to be at least one of the following. iPhone XS, iPhone X Max and iPhone X to use the method I just showed you or any newer iPhones. If you don't have one of these devices, don't worry, you can use a different method, however it's not as effective. Turn scanned files and images into a PDF using PDF Element for iOS. With PDF Element for iOS, you can use the scan feature to make your image into a PDF. However, the app lacks the ability to perform OCR unlike its macOS counterpart. First, find the PDF Element for iOS on the App Store, or you can download it via the link below in the pinned comment. Then launch PDF element for iOS. You will find a plus icon in the bottom right corner. Click the scan icon. Take a photo. You can also crop it if you wish so. Then click the blue arrow in the bottom right hand corner. You may not be able to edit or copy the text, but you can use the highlight feature as well as the pencil to circle things. Lastly, click the three dots and click convert. This is a new feature you can use, which turns the file into any format. After the conversion process, the image will be saved as a PDF on your device. This doesn't exactly make your text editable, but it would be useful if you wanted to make your file into another format using iOS device. If you don't care about the watermark, it's free to try and you'll have to upgrade to your account to get rid of the watermark. No Windows, no Mac, no iPhone, no problem. Well, now it's time for the bonus method in which we will use Google Drive. Bonus method, OCR in Google Drive. 
Let's start by logging in to a Google Drive account in a fresh browser tab. Import an image containing text by clicking New and then File Upload. Choose your image in the Explorer window and click Open. Once the file is added to a Drive folder, right-click it. Hover your mouse over the Open With option and select Google Docs in the contextual menu. In a new browser tab, you'll see the OCR text right below the image Okay, so now we've gone over four different scenarios and I've been threatened by three different people. Let me share with you some of the questions I regularly get from PDF Element users. There are common issues with simple fixes, so let's dive right in. You ask, we answer. The first question is, what languages does PDF Element OCR support? PDF Element OCR supports over 20 different languages from all parts of the world, and the list keeps growing with the new versions of the software. If you find a particular language is missing from the list you see in the OCR module, let us know in the comments section below and I'll pass it on to the appropriate team. The next question is, some vague smudges can be seen on a customer's documents after performing OCR. What's that? Hmm, that sounds familiar. If you see this happening, that means the background layer of the PDF contains non-text elements that you see as smudging. To remove them, go to Background and select Edit Background. A new window will pop up where you can select your background and click on this cross icon in order to delete it. Then press OK and Apply. And now our background has been deleted and as you can see there are no more smudges underneath the text. Question number three. Is OCR 100% accurate? No, OCR can't be accurate with all types of text. Of course with printed text it works really well with all common font types. But if you have a unique font or handwritten notes that are barely legible to the human eye, OCR won't be quite so accurate and you'll need to do a lot of manual correction. Question number four, can I use OCR for handwritten notes? Again, that's the thing about handwritten notes. If your handwriting is neat and legible, OCR will do a pretty decent job. But if you write the way doctors scribble out the prescriptions, you can't expect a miracle from a machine, right? The thumb rule of OCR is the clearer the text is to read with the human eye, the more accurate OCR results will be. And finally, question number five, can I directly scan a document into an editable PDF? Yes, absolutely, PDF Element has this feature too. Just click on File, then go to Create and select from Scanner. Choose the scanner you're using in the next window and hit the Scan button to directly save the scan as a PDF file. Wow, that was a lot of information we went through, wasn't it? But to tell you the truth, I had a lot of fun showing you some useful tips for OCR on Mac and other platforms. I hope you enjoyed it too. Let me leave you with a fun question. What do you do when the text is too faded for OCR to work with? Hmm, that's some good food for thought. Suggest some ways in which you would deal with this problem in the comments section below this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the PDF channel to see more of our content. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.